practical work can be undervalued and implicitly the message can be it's not quite spiritual. And I don't think God looks at it that way. It's when we work with all our heart in God's name, whatever we do is there to give uh, glory to Him. Myself and, and my colleagues, we feel really called to build the best software that we can for them. Uh, to really serve them, help them to be the best possible schools they can be, even though I probably disagree with a lot of the things that they're teaching in the classroom. Hebrews 11 encourages us to think of God's creative activity, focused in this case on the new world, but also evident in the now world, as a kind of building or engineering or architectural project like the projects we do. And therefore, when we do these sort of things well, we are at the very least creating a kind of parable of what God is up to generally in the world. I'd always had it in my mind that someday I would start an art gallery. I have three small children, so I didn't really think it would be now. Uh, <laughs> really, I was thinking of the verse in Colossians that says, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Um, and I just think that's what you have to keep in mind. Jesus did not live in Bible land, right? Bible land, this myth mythical world composed out of flannel graph where everyone's really, really good or really, really bad. He lived in our world and he worked a job like many of you work. We can go full Oprah here and uh, <laughs> I can have your questions. It's a heavy burden, it's a heavy weight to bear to be a manager. Uh, I hope it's not too personal, but wondering if there's any places where you've felt um, inadequate or the heaviness of, of being a manager. Literally my last work day, I had that um, intervention of prayer, right, to, to deal with a difficult situation. The worst thing is the ability of the world to shut off from God because his glory is what the whole enterprise is all about.